Hey fam, how y'all doing today? Welcome back to History Highlights with Laney. In this video, I will highlight Lucia Harris, also known as Lucy. Lucia Harris, born February 10th, 1955, died January 18th, 2022, was an American professional basketball player. Harris is considered to be one of the pioneers of women's basketball. She played for Delta State University and won three consecutive association for intercollegiate athletes for women, which is the AIAW National Championships. The predecessors to the National Collegiate Athletic Association, known as the NCAA Championship, from 1975 to 1977. And international level, she represented the United States national team and won a silver medal in the 1976 Olympic Games the first women's basketball tournament in the Olympic Games. She played professional basketball with the Houston Angels of the Women's Professional Basketball League, also known as WBL, and was the first and only woman ever officially drafted by the NBA National Basketball Association for men. She was inducted into the Nari Smith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame and Women's Basketball Hall of Fame. Harris was born in Mentor City, Mississippi to Ethel Harris and Willie Harris, a cranberry farmer. She was the fourth of five daughters and the 10th of 11 children all of whom attended Amanda Elsie High School in Greenwood, Mississippi. While playing high school ball, she won the Most Valuable Player Award three years in a row and served as team captain and made the state all-star team. She scored a school record 46 points in one game and led her school to the state tournament in Jackson, Mississippi. After her high school graduation, she had planned to attend Alcorn State University, which is a HBCU, which did not have a women's basketball team. However, she was recruited to play at Delta State University in Cleveland, Mississippi. In her first year at Delta State, 73 and 74, she helped the Lady Statesmen to a 16 to 2 record. However, they finished third in the regional tournament and failed to qualify for the national tournament. But the year after that, and the year after that, and the year after that, they won national championships. During her tenure at Delta State, she was the only African-American player on the team. Following her time at Delta State, she went on to become the first and only woman to be officially drafted by an NBA team after the New Orleans Jazz selected her as the 137th overall pick for the 1977 basketball draft. Despite being drafted, she reportedly declined to try out for the team due to pregnancy. She was the subject of a 2021 documentary, The Queen of Basketball, which she narrated. Part of the narration, Lucia was part of the first U.S. Women Olympic team the U.S. played against Japan, and she made the first basket at the Olympic game. Her teammate, Ann Myers, passed her the ball 
And after Lucinda made the basket, Anne told her, now that's history. And a record that will never be broken. The U.S. team won the silver medal. She went on to narrate that Delta State won three NIWA championships with Lucia leading the way. She stated that she suffered from bipolar and it didn't surface until she had stopped playing basketball. She also stated that when she got the call from the Jazz, she turned them down because she wanted to start a family. Remember, I just said a little while ago she was pregnant. And competing against a man is different than competing against a woman. She simply said no. She didn't want to play for them. For them. She had a nervous breakdown and had to return home to Amanda Elsie and became the head coach there and began to pick herself up. She stated that she kept her articles and clippings of herself in a scrapbook and did not look back over and read them until after her basketball career. Three-time national champion, Olympian, very impressive, she said. And I don't regret not going to the NBA. She has four adult children, one is a lawyer, one has a master's degree, and two have doctorate degrees. And they were all athletes. So there you have it. A little bit of history on the, the queen of uh, a basketball. The documentary was aired on July 7th, 2021. If you all get a chance, take a look at it. She paved the way for many women. She is a trailblazer. Or should I say, she was a trailblazer. Be well, stay safe, and stay in peace, not pieces. Hit that bell so you will know every time I upload a video. Word of the year, peace. Peace. Deuces. See you soon.